The shocking drone footage out of Pueblo, some of it we haven't even shown you because of its graphic nature. Tonight, what Mayor Gratisar is saying about the city's growing homeless issues and where he ranks Pueblo compared to other Colorado cities. Good evening, I'm Heather Scold. And I'm Bart Bedsoul. Alarming new video out of Pueblo tonight showing what appears to be drug use in a homeless camp in a very visible part of the city. A plan is now in the works to address the issue after 13 investigates reporting on another video showing two men shooting at a drone in a homeless camp along Fountain Creek. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live outside Pueblo City Hall to explain. Sean. Yeah, but Heather Pueblo police tell me the video you're about to see appears to depict the usage of drugs in public here in Pueblo. Its behavior, Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar tells me, should never be tolerated. Downtown Pueblo and the Highway 50 interchange, both heavily trafficked by Puebloans, but recently both have been the site of alleged drug use by people who are experiencing homelessness. Of course, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. And, you know, I think you'll find that those people have been moved out. But, uh, public Works told me that they gave notice that they had to vacate those premises. Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar calls it a problem, but says it's difficult to identify who needs help and who would refuse it. As I look at the situation and compare it to other communities that I've been in, I don't think we've got that big a problem with homelessness. If you've been to downtown Denver and seen them camped on the streets, uh, you know, that's when I say there's a, uh, a big problem. In a recent Facebook post, Gratisar called the Fountain Creek area of Pueblo an area with lush green vegetation. Why do you view that these drone videos are sensationalist in nature? Well, um, obviously whoever took the drone video was trying to antagonize uh, the homeless community. I don't know whether that's the new sport to uh, sort of antagonize and poke the mentally ill or the drug addicted or the intoxicated. But the video given to 13 investigates was taken by a Pueblo citizen who says he's trying to expose the issue of homelessness. Gratisar says the city has done a lot to support their unhoused population. We've got a permanent shelter now that we didn't have when I became mayor. We've got the right place, which is some permanent transitional housing for them. And we instituted programs to try to put the homeless people to work picking up trash and volunteering to pick up trash, those kind of things. Radisar told me today the city is in the process of developing a comprehensive plan to address homelessness, one that includes two cleanups every year and getting people in touch with nonprofits who can provide resources. Reporting live in Pueblo, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Mm -hmm.